So this is my third match ever uh, for my first competition at Grappling Industries, and this was the third match of Absolute Nogi. So I had two matches before this one. Um, both guys were huge, so I weigh around 170, uh, and these guys were both probably like 220 plus pounds at least. And so there's also very little break between matches. So I go into this third match like, ooh, I'm feeling it. Um, you know, I'm tired, but you got to fight through. And uh, that's what I'm trying to do here. So I get hit with something uh, interesting in this match, and I'll call it out when it happens. And um, I got a few takeaways from that as well. So let's get started. So right away, just hitting a double leg. Super easy. Guys walking in. All you do is change your level, go for both legs. Now, here's where the slick thing happens. So you'll notice I had double unders, so I was trying to go for like a double underpass. Uh, but the issue is, I first off, I'm leaning way too far forward. I think what I want to do is I want to get my double unders, keep everything tight, keep his legs pinched together, and not give him all this space. But because I gave him all this space, I remember when I first uh, watched this back, I thought I just fell into a triangle from being lazy and, um, you know, doing a pretty crappy job with the double unders. But he actually did something really slick that I didn't even know was happening. As I go for the double unders, he actually wraps his arm around one of my arms that's under his leg. And what he does is he gets both hands to this and he pulls this arm through. Once he pulls this arm through, my other hand's still under his leg, and this one's through so he can triangle me. So let's keep going. So notice that, now he's got the triangle. So I apologize for that. It was impossible to see for that like 15, 10 seconds. I'm definitely gonna be working on um, getting a better recording situation so that whoever's recording doesn't have to dot, you know, go between people. Um, I'm gonna have like a tripod set up with a camera so it's just a lot easier. But what you'll notice is this whole time I'm in this triangle, I think I was in it for like almost a minute. What I was trying to do is frame with my right hand on his hip get my left arm under, grab his leg, and then inch my way out. But every time I would try to do that, he would keep grabbing my one arm so that I couldn't start working backwards and my arm was getting so tired from it. So you see it right here. My left arm is underneath and I'm trying to bring everything to that right side. And he's doing a great job of not giving up on this triangle and just staying at it. So you can see at this point, I gave up on the, the hip frame, if we go back slightly. My arm's kind of just dangling there around his leg. It was just so dead that I just couldn't frame on the hip anymore, and I just kind of had it, had it laying there. So we keep going here. Now there's another triangle escape I learned where what you can do is you can sit to your butt, posture up, and then you try to put either both feet on like his biceps and then pull away, or you can put your feet on top of his chest and then start pulling away. I tried to do the one on top of his chest.
but as you can see here it was so tight i gave up on it pretty quickly and now i'm at this point i'm not really doing much to escape i'm just hanging on for dear life because i'm just so dead <laughs> oh actually no there it was I, I had it for a second I had the foot up there he cleared it and now i'm in trouble right here he gets that angle so now he's not straight on anymore once he gets this angle it's it's basically game over for me uh it just gets so much tighter and especially after fighting it for a minute it's you know it's hard not to tap here so that was the match um you know i i learned very quickly that even when you're tired, you, you really have to have good technique at all times because especially in jujitsu, guys can catch you with something real quick. So here I thought I was safe with that double under. It was super lazy. My posture was bad and his legs were completely spread out and he had space. So he was able to reach in, catch my arm, bring it through, get me in that triangle. I was way too tired to continue to defend it and he eventually got the angle and finished it. So kudos to him. He, uh, is super slick with that stuff and I really appreciate the lesson that he taught me.